Keep the camera Look just. at Jimmy. Yeah, right there. We could keep both these battles in this shot. Great job, guys. Down oh, the stretch. Oh, Look trouble. out. Trouble. Kurt's into the wall. Boyer's in it as well. And Kurt's getting the worst of it. It's like a little bump drafting going on right there. We're trying to gain the advantage. Looks like the 48 got to the back of him a little bit. Boy, he almost came back out onto the track right there. And there is the view as Kurt takes the wheel off. Man, look at this car. Oh, man. Further back, Elliot Sadler. Sadler. And look engine? at this. Gosh. The engine is out of this thing. Oh, my gosh. Well, That's the whole suspension. It's like the front part of the front suspension. The window is net Elliot? is down for Elliot. He's got the helmet off already. That is the best news. You can see he oh, is, he is in He is yeah, in some hurting. pain. Oh, man. I hate to see this. Look at the front of that oh car. The engine completely out of the car. I can't remember the last time I saw one like that. Kurt has climbed out. Well, I have to be honest with you, the last time I saw it was back when we were covering drag racing. And uh, it's not a pretty sight when they have that happen over there either. And Kurt took a hard lick also. He's walking under his own power. But right now, Elliot Sadler, we have a red flag situation as Elliot did climb out of the car himself, but he has laid down right on the straightaway there. And the medical crew is there already. And just think good thoughts, folks, because that was a heck of a lick. This has to be a situation of Elliot getting maybe clipped from behind as all of this was taking place in front of him. All right, hitting that little inside part here. Let's go back. Here's what Andy was talking about. The 48 was right on the two. Looks like he might have got into him a little hard and turned him. Yeah, he was trying to help him pass this 33 car, Clint Boyer, but uh, yeah, that's went bad there. It's a hard lick at 180 miles an hour. You know, and then Boyer tags Kurt Busch. There's where the wheel came from, maybe off of this two car. Yeah, there it yeah, comes yeah. loose. And then Kurt takes a pretty hard lick here on this inside wall. We've been talking about the safety, you know, or lack thereof in on this back straightaway at this track. I mean, it's, you know, the grass is, is kind of a, a situation that's really hard to deal with when you have these cars getting off and, into and it, it. It was a situation that track officials were addressing this weekend. They're talking about putting catch fence along that straightaway. Let's take another look at it. And also putting safer barriers on the inside of this wall. You can see Boyer was trying to side draft a little bit at the same time, so there wasn't any room for any error there. We're still trying to figure out well how Elliot Sadler got into all this. On board with David Rudiman. He gets a good view of Kurt Busch. He makes it through. And there's the tap right there. It wasn't intentional on Jimmy's part, but definitely that's what caused this was that co contact from Jimmy's front bumper. Kurt, talk to me, all right, buddy. Okay, let's. Uh, we, we think we've seen an angle. Uh, check the lower right of your screen. Oh my right. gosh! Oh, oh my oh gosh! My. Hey, Lord, look at that. Head on into that armco. That's down. That's down in a 90 degree corner. See what we can see from up high. So we talk about things that need to be addressed at certain tracks, and that's certainly an issue right there. Oh, that's that, a big time issue. You know, it just couldn't have been any worse, and that's the, that's what happens. I mean, these cars will find the absolute worst place to hit. You see, Kirk just misses that. Well, you can see that the cleanup is going to take quite a while here as we are under a red flag condition with 35 laps remaining and obviously uh, we'll get an update on Elliot's condition as soon as possible boy you go from the highest high he had a wonderful day yesterday in that uh, camping world truck series race won it sat on pole and then to come out today and have it end like this All right, uh, let, let's go back. We'll listen in to Jimmy Johnson's radio this time. See what uh, we can glean from this. Man, that was kind of my fault. No, those guys, I'm sorry. I was trying to bump draft him like you wanted me to. Step four. 
So Jimmy's saying, I think it's my fault. And do you notice the raindrops beginning to fall? As you can see on the car right there. That was a battle for 10th that was going on between the two, the 48 and the 33. And that's what's left of the number 19 of Elliott Sadler. This cleanup, as we said, it's going to take a, a bit of time. We're going to step aside for a few moments. We'll get you an update on Elliott's condition as soon as possible.